Hello, I hope you had a stunning week. Today I'm going to show you how to use One Point Perspective to improve the composition in your paintings. Let's take a look at this photo and see if we can improve the composition a bit. The background seems fine, but it looks like Rusty the Cow is about to step on our toes. So let's use One Point Perspective and move him up a bit. Sorry Rusty, but you won't be needing your shadow for a while. One point perspective works like this. The further an object is away from us, the smaller it will appear. The point where the object becomes so small it disappears on the horizon is called our vanishing point. So for us to move Rusty around, we'll first need to find the horizon. The horizon is always at eye level, which seems to be around here. Now let's pick a point on the horizon, it doesn't matter where, this is going to be our vanishing point. Now let's draw two lines from the vanishing point towards Rusty. Let's make the one line touch the top of his head and the other the bottom of his front foot. Again, it doesn't matter which points on the object you choose. We can now move Rusty anywhere along our perspective lines, resizing him proportionally to ensure that the points on his head and foot remain on our perspective lines. What we're actually doing is moving Rusty backwards and forwards in our picture while maintaining the correct perspective. The minute we have Rusty at the correct distance, we can then shift him horizontally to exactly where we need him, make him do a U-turn, and there we have a much more interesting picture. Thanks Rusty, you can have your shadow back now. That was easy enough, wasn't it? I'll see you next time.